Hi Leo, gang gang, my fire sign Leo, what is up and what is good with y'all? Welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back for all my returning subscribers. You guys, it is Leo season and we about to turn the fuck up. Okay, Leos, period, gang, gang. All right, this is going to be your love reading for August 2022. So do take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest for another Leo. Okay, also, if you need anything from me, if you would like to book me for a personal private reading, that's up to you. My link is in the description box down below underneath every single last video. Before I get too far into this video, let me know that you click like and you click share, subscribe to the channel, turn your post bell on, so you know every time I upload a reading for you guys, and you won't miss out. Alright, so this is for August, Leo motherfucking season, period. So you guys, we have talked about this air sign before. Okay, in the past, and this energy is still um, dwelling for some of you, or this could be a relationship that you're in now. So basically, I'm seeing here with the Six of Swords and the Seven of Swords, somebody's went from the Six to the Seven right here. Okay, I feel like you or your person, somebody, it could be a family member, a friend, you know, a boss, a co-worker, your boo thing, your who thing, whoever. But somebody has moved away, snuck away, okay, to a better place of peace and karma waters here, okay? And I feel like somebody did it like a thief in the night. Somebody left, all right? Somebody moved away, okay, because somebody was lying, cheating, being very manipulative. Or somebody moved and they was being sneaky about it. They must have snuck off somewhere, for some of you, or oh, this is you, all right. Um, let's see. I feel like somebody is stalking you, whoever you moved away from, okay. This person was just telling you a bunch of lies, and it's like, what the fuck? This person was being very sneaky, okay. Maybe travel somewhere and was dishonest with you about where they was going. Yeah, looks like you walked away from this liar, cheater, manipulator. Yeah, some of you snuck away from this person, like literally. I do feel like you are still uh, emotionally attached to this person in a way. And, you know, that doesn't make you very happy with the sun, Leo. Okay, our energy, the sun is supposed to be upright. You know what I'm saying? It's the happiest card in the deck, but I feel like this situation... It's not making you happy or this is somebody this could be a fellow leo cancer pisces scorpio aquarius libra gemini let's see what else some of you don't even have feelings for this person anymore you lost all respect for them you cut this person off okay this person really pissed you off with the queen of swords right here more air energy some of you divorced this person all right yeah, somebody got cut out right here. All right, and I'm finding some of these cards in the reverse. Somebody must have taken a risk in you guys' relationship. But I feel like you're not confident enough to take this leap of faith toward this person. Let's see. This person, they do want to communicate with you. All right, they're stuck on you. All right, the hangman, Pisces energy. I do feel like for some of you, what I'm getting to is that this is somebody that you cut out that was, you know, causing a lot of delays in your life. I know it sounds like we all say the same thing, but this energy ain't coming up like this for no reason. And I pre-shuffled before I even shuffled for real. Okay, so somebody is stuck on you. They're spying on you. They're watching. Okay, this person, you know, they want to talk to you, but... They feel stuck. They feel stagnant. They don't know how to approach you. Okay. Um, because obviously they was on some fuck shit. And this person caused a lot of delays for you in your life for some of y'all. You know, made you feel stuck or stagnant to an extent. You know what I'm saying? And I do feel like you guys did love this person. You two were so in love. This was like 
divine intervention. You know, spirit putting you guys in each other's lives, okay? I do feel like you two had a very strong spiritual deep soul connection here with the lovers. It could be a Gemini that you're dealing with, okay? For some of you, there may have been a choice between two people here. And I feel like this person, they might give up the courage and the confidence to reach out to you. What's this? Yeah. So this person is definitely um, a player or still in their player ways, okay? This person is in and out. You know, I feel like you really love this person, but it's, it could be mostly about sex. If there's a choice between two, it could be that they're rushing towards... Um, you know, they were rushing towards another person, being a player, you know, in and out, being very fickle, not knowing what they wanted. But I feel like this person, after you walked away, they want to come in very quickly. They want to rush in towards you. I feel like this person is choosing you over this other person, if that's the case for some of you. And they want to take the leap of faith towards you. Let's see. I feel like some of you may be happy and excited about this. Like this person is coming towards you, choosing you. <clears throat> and on the other hand, you're still cold and detached. Not really showing this person that you're breaking a sweat. You know what I mean? But I feel like this person wants to communicate something with you. They want to have a brand new start, a brand new beginning with you. All right, could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, could be an air sign. Somebody here has fire with air or air with fire. Yeah. This may be somebody that you screwed or wanted to screw. This person may have just wanted to come in for sex. All right. But I feel like for some of you, what I'm getting to is that you guys were mirroring each other. You know, after you walked away from this person and didn't make you happy, that you had to cut them off. And it made you feel stuck because some of you may still be in love with this player. Maybe you miss the sex for some of you. Or maybe they miss yours. But I feel like you two are mirroring each other. Like, if they're not calling you, you're not calling them either. Alright, y'all got y'all backs turned to each other. Because I feel like this person, they do want to come in towards you. But some of you is not paying this person no damn mind. Alright, I feel like a lot of you are happy and excited that you turn your back to explore, to expand, to see what else is out there with the Three of Wands. You know, see if there's someone else that you can fall in love with for some of you. Some of you are confused about this. I feel like you do have a lot of options. Okay. With the Seven of Cups, you are attracting a lot of people. A lot. Alright. Some of you are confused and some of you have options. I feel like things are going to be turning around in your favor here with the Wheel of Fortune. You could be dealing with your baby mama, baby daddy, or whoever. This could be a boss, a female boss that you work with. This could be a husband, a wife, a baby, I don't know, a boo thing, who thing, whatever. But I feel like things are going to be looking good for you, okay? The wheel is turning in your favor. I feel in that... Uh, justice card okay i'm feeling that uh, that libra energy could be dealing with a scorpio but my 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 i have the tables turned okay maybe this person is confused that you're attracting so many people okay they want to come in with a love offer knight of cups 
Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They want to offer you a cup of love, but it's been halted. They feel like you're still holding on to things from the past or just holding on to whatever it is that they did. Breadcrumb you or whatever. Not giving the equal give and take in the relationship. Why is this apology halted? Is this person nervous? I'm getting it. Why is the King of Cups here for Leo? Hmm. Yeah. This is somebody you definitely took a break from. I feel like you're just resting, recuperating, you know, relaxing. Some of you need to take a spiritual bath, I'm seeing. Some of you like the bath really hot. I mean, who doesn't? You know, we're Leos. <laughs> um... This person is like praying that you still love them. The audacity, right? Because I feel like this person may have went somewhere and they didn't tell you where they was going. Or you snuck away from this person. Because it's just lies. I feel like this person caused illusions and confusion in the relationship. Like it was serious. Why is the four swords here? Yeah, you're recovering from this pain. You're getting over it. This painful ending that you two had. Okay, I feel like you're getting the knives that they stuck in you out of your own back. For some of you, this person may be recovering from something. They may be in a hospital recovering from an accident or this may be them. It could be a surgery. It could be you that's having surgery. It could be anything. Somebody's recovering or it's this painful ending that has happened. Okay, I feel like you two are bosses. Maybe you two work together for some of you. I feel like this person can't make a decision. There's a lack of growth, a lack of progress. Yeah. This person wants to get you back at all costs by any means necessary, but I feel like they play too many mind games and you're just taking some time out for yourself. You know, taking some time out to be alone. Can you guys see that? Let me turn on this light. Hold on, y'all. I hope that's bright enough because why does the hermit keep falling? Some of you have been cooped up in the house, not getting out. You're just taking some time to think. Ooh. Somebody's all over the place. Could be you or could be this person. The cards just slipped out of my hand. <sighs> now this could have happened in the past. Right? But this energy is still showing up. Because this person is holding on to you. And they're trying not to let you go. Right? But they wanted to have fun. Three of Cups. They just wanted to have fun. They wanted to date very casual, have sex. I don't see much of a commitment here. I don't even see the Ace of Cups on the table. You didn't see this coming for some of you. You were blinded to some sort of a truth or you're put in the middle of somebody else's mess for some of you. You block this person, I'm getting. You block them. You're closed off and blocked off to them. This was a big decision, a really tough decision that somebody had to make. 
Give me one more for the y'all. What's this? Hmm. I feel like judgment was in the reverse. No second chances, no judgment. But it's upright. This is someone that you may have given a second chance to before. But I feel like you don't want to for some of you. You don't want to give this person a second chance. <clears throat> they have told way too many lies. Yeah. They're going to try to send you a message, okay? Because they want to get you back at all costs. Like I said, I do feel like this person plays mind games. You know, they have a very high sex drive. And <laughs> I feel like they're going to build up their courage and the confidence to contact you. Somebody is sad. Very, very sad. This could be something about work. A co-worker, a boss, a manager, or this is this person's position. It could be an Aries. It could be a baby father, a father figure, or you are. I feel like somebody's sad here and wants to take control of the situation because they miss the good times with you. They miss, you know, the past, the good memories. This is somebody that's like a high school sweetheart, a childhood sweetheart. You grew up with this person. You know this person. They know you. This person wants forgiveness, but they feel left out in the cold, abandoned, and neglected. See, they keep wanting to come and send you a message, but I feel like they keep holding back because their grief, their sadness, feeling defeated and disappointment over the loss of a relationship, over the loss of you, you know, leaving their life, walking out. There is healing taking place. You could be the baby mama or this is your baby mama. All right. But they wanted to be casual and hide shit, you know, keep secrets, be immature. And it's backfired on them. You know, everything that happened between you and this person. Everything that you did and everything that they didn't do, now they regret it. They regret not stepping up to the plate, okay, with the emperor coming up here. That's somebody who is a father figure, a husband, okay, somebody who's a boss, somebody who's very mature and is ready to step up to the plate. But I feel like this person is feeling defeated, like they did not do that in this connection between you and them. They didn't do that in the past. And that's why they're left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. All right, let's cut the deck and see what channel messages are here for you guys. Yeah. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Mm-hmm. Love yourself first. That self-love makes you more romantically attractive. And I feel like a lot of you have self-love after you freed yourself from this situation. This person feels like there's unfinished business between the two of you. You've known them before. You've had a past life with them. Let's see what else Spirit has for you. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. Don't get your hopes up too high about this person. They may come in and offer you engagement. Or maybe they have because engagement is at the bottom of the deck. Or you may have been engaged to this person. They may try to flirt with you. Okay, especially with that knight of wands and that page of wands. That's a lot of flirting. You know, sexual energy. They want forgiveness. I feel like this person 
In order for them to fix it, they feel like they need to... Have sex or something? Flirt with you? Whisper sweet nothings in your ear? Give me one more card for Leo's. Okay, Spirit said no. I'm giving you three. Okay. Let go of control issues. Some of you may have not because it came out sideways. Or like one part of you wants to let go of control issues and another part of you is still controlling the situation. Okay. I feel like you guys are going to be enjoying yourself very soon since you released this ex. Or oh, this has happened already. Alright, this has happened already. Or it's coming in for you. And I feel like you're not going to see this coming. It may not make sense to you guys now, but in the future it will. Trust me. Alright. But things will change and get better for you. Because you're healing from that with temperance. You're doing things in moderation. You're getting that balance back into your life. And I wish that Justice card would have showed up. Let's see who's under temperance. Yeah, Justice card is not there. But that Libra energy is there. Could be a Sag. Let's see. Message. Yeah, so there's a message coming in. This person is going to send you a message. But... Like I said, some of you block them. So you're dealing with an older man. You're an older man. Or you're going to get a message concerning your father for some of you. I feel like they are going to send you a message telling you that they've matured. That they've grown up. You know what I'm saying. But at the bottom of the deck. No. They're lying. They're being deceitful. You may have a child with this person. Yeah, somebody feels like they lost everything or this person acts like a child. This person is at a distance from you. All right. And with that three of wands, um, that is somebody distant from you. Male, male lovers. So this man is still in love with you or this woman. This person is thinking about taking a trip to see you. Great fortune coming in for you guys, Leos. Okay. So I feel like spirit is going to gift you. You know, give you great fortune. Because I feel like this is something that needed to be done. Okay. And your intuition could have been telling you this for a long time. Let's see what else spirit has for you. I hope you guys are enjoying this reading. I'm trying to leave the cards in place. This card is flipped upside down. Social media stalker. What I told you, somebody is watching you some kind of way. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, or whatever type of social media platform that you got. Yeah, they're disappointed. Because they cause trouble, sorrow. This person was a trickster. But they're spying. They're watching you. Alright. They could be watching your every move. Some of you, they may be riding past your house, riding past your job, trying to ask mutual friends what you're doing. You know, I'm getting this energy where they're going to become obsessed. Alright. But this is you, Rich Leo. Having abundance, material wealth, and financial stability and security. Alright. So that's already happened for you. Or that's coming in. Alright. 
money issues. So you may have had money issues, okay? Or this person is having money issues. You may be talking shit about this gold digger because at the bottom of the deck, it's a, somebody is a gold digger, all right? But they're mad because you made choices and decisions that were good for yourself. You had to choose that path that you're going to take. Let's see. And if anybody that comes into your life, if it's not serving you for your own good or for your higher purpose, then they got to go. This person was taking shortcuts in the relationship, was very lazy. You know, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this shady motherfucker person. Could be a water sign too, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. We talked about this energy before. Months ago, Leo. Months ago. So. Hmm. This energy is still lingering, and that's why it sounds like, you know, it's being repeated over and over, but... We're not doing that on purpose as readers. Everybody reads differently. We just read the cards how they come out. And how, however we feel, whatever feeling we're picking up or channeling from these cards, then that's the message that has to come out. All right? So I hope you guys have enjoyed this reading. I love you guys so, so much. And thank you so much for coming back. I'm going to be posting the daily reading next. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. I love y'all so, so much. Oh, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let me know that you subscribe. Let me know that you shared the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your favorite part. But let me know if you enjoyed this reading. I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy birthday, Leos. Until next time. Bye, Leo.